62 minutes. Hello, my glorious bastards. Our fellow rapper Future has dropped another project today, and it's titled Future, in all caps. How creative. I have a weird history with Future. I used to love the guy. When the guy first came out, I listened to his re-release of his first album, Pluto 3D. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it a lot. It had a perfect mixture of really hard-hitting bangers like Same Damn Time and... I don't remember any of the other bangers, but it also had a good mix of ballads, love ballads, trap rap in a sense. Songs like Never End featuring Kelly Rowland and Turn On The Lights definitely broke up the monotony. It was a dope project. Honest, his second studio album, that one kind of sucked. Yeah, I hated Honest. It had some horrible songs on it too. The uh, title track, Honest, was absolutely horrendous. It was terrible. Uh, there's a song on there called I Won featuring Kanye West that a lot of girls love that I will never understand because pretty much the entire song, they are literally saying women are trophies. Literally. Like the hook is I feel like I won me a trophy. Like they're literally saying women are like trophies. Apparently women are stupid too because women love this song. Third studio album Dirty Sprite 2 was one of the biggest albums of its year. Definitely the biggest hip-hop album of that year. I didn't feel it that much. While I do respect Future for pretty much building an entire subgenre under hip-hop on his own, creating a whole new trap style, I do respect that. It does get old. Dirty Sprite 2 is 18 tracks of pretty much the same song over and over and over and over and over again at nauseum. I wasn't the biggest fan. And then he dropped his fourth studio album last year in 2016 titled Evil. And it was all right. It was cool. You know, it felt more like a mixtape than an album. It was only about 11 tracks. And, you know, it was pretty much leftovers from Dirty Sprite 2. But it was cool. Mostly because it wasn't so fucking long. See, the problem with these new rappers and the fact that they don't really talk about anything is the fact that they keep releasing these overly long projects for no reason. There is no reason I should be listening to an hour of future. But that's what I did. So how was it? Uh, it was I. Right. It was cool. It was cool. That's about all I can say about this new future project. It's a new future project. I mean, even saying the word new should be questioned when you bring up this guy. Like, seriously, it's your same old future. Now, this is way better than Dirty Sprite 2. I can say that. The album actually gets off to a pretty decent start. Not with the first track, of course, because the first track is the same old future. You listen to the first track and you're, you're just kind of sitting there like, oh, okay, so this is going to be more of the same old shit. But then it actually gets into some dope songs. And then you, you do get some dope cuts on this album. One of the best trap songs I've heard from Future in a long time is this track called P.O.A. that has a fucking killer beat. That beat is ridiculous. If you are working out and you're 10 minutes into your workout and you're like, all right, man, I'm stretched out. I'm warmed up. I'm ready to get going. You turn on this song because that beat slaps. When I say energy, I mean fucking energy energy dude there's also some other good songs out here like zoom and draco that just have that perfect blend of a great beat and a great hook that just work and then there's other songs like when i was broke near that's a deep cut in the album that you really get a sense their future doesn't want to just make you know a bunch of songs that are about nothing yeah that's the main goal but there's also a very small part of him it wants to maybe talk about something different, and it doesn't really come through like it should, but it does come through. So, you know, you're listening to me gush about this album, right? Surely something's wrong with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And a big problem with this album ultimately becomes the length. 62 minutes 
of Future. I don't understand. Why is this album so long? Because for every good song, you get a same old song. And what I mean by same old song is the same Future song you've heard over and over again. With a metro booming beat and Future talking about how much weight he pushed, how much cocaine his girl sniffs, how many zannies he popped last night, how many cars he has in his garage. I don't care. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I wouldn't even care. If he actually put some effort into it, but there is just an overabundance of those songs that are just throwaway songs. Yeah, the album does get off to a good start. The first six songs of the album, surprisingly, are pretty dope. I'm telling you, though, when you get to the track Out of Time, which happens to be track nine on this album, you get into a pretty long stretch of nothingness. There is just track after track after track of nothing. It's Future talking about the same thing with pretty much the same style of beats. And it's like, what are you doing, dude? But there are a couple of songs on here that are really bad. <laughs> like, really bad. First, I'm going to mention Flip, which is the second worst song on this album, simply because it came on and it went off and I didn't even realize that I listened to a song. I was literally sitting there. I barely bobbed my head. I really felt like I didn't listen to a song when that song went off. But the worst one is actually kind of funny. I'm so groovy. This song <laughs> is so bad, but it's so fucking hilarious. Because he's doing this thing during his verses where he'll say a couple words and then go, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh And I'm sitting there like, are you really going to do this for four minutes? And he did it for four fucking minutes. And I thought to myself, oh my God, you really don't have much creativity, do you, Future? Look, man, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by this album. And I will say I enjoyed this a lot more than I enjoyed Migos' culture. However, I do have to say, if Future wants to progress his career, he's going to have to start making some changes. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. This album isn't bad. It's not bad. I wouldn't even say it's mediocre. It's I. It's Future. I mean, what can I say? If you're a Future fan, you've probably already listened to this. And you've probably already added about half of this album to your playlist titled Make My Shit Thump. If you are not a Future fan and you don't really know much about Future, approach at your own risk. I will say maybe check out his earlier works first and then check out his newer stuff if you don't really know much about Future so you can kind of get a sense of what I mean when I say that Future is not nearly as good as he used to be. If you hate Future, don't listen to this, okay? If you hate Future, avoid this album like the plague, man, because you are going to hate Every single minute of it. It's not new. It's nothing different. It's the same old future. It's the same situation we've had since he dropped that monster mixtape way back whenever. He drops it. We hope that there's some bangers on this shit. That we hope there's something to make our car windows rattle. And indeed, there are. And then there's also songs on here that you will forget as soon as they go off. And that's just the end of the discussion. However, I'm feeling I'm feeling friendly. I'm feeling generous. I will go ahead and give Future's self-titled record a solid B-. minus. Yep, a solid B-. minus. It's not bad. It's not even really that mediocre, but it's not good. So yeah, that's my review of Future's self-titled album. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you care? Probably not. But regardless, make sure you like, subscribe, and share on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I have plugs for all three in the description. Comment below. This is the show where it's all about you with a little bit of me in the middle. Have a great day, you glorious bastards.